Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Bells and Whistles. This is also known as Daytona Twin B. This is part of the Twin B franchise. Great uh, series of shooters. This was requested by YouTube user Real Master Order. It's a cute game. Um, there's a flyer for Daytona Twin B. And uh, the characters uh, that fly the the bees, which are uh, uh, aircraft, are uh, Light, the boy, and Pastel, the girl. And there is Light with Twin Bee, which is the bee that he pilots. And there is Pastel with Win Bee, the bee that she pilots. There is also a, a character that you can collect to help with, with your, your firepower called Mint. And uh, he pilots Gwynby. Actually, he's too young to pilot. Um, and they are all related. Uh, uh, Pastel is Light's cousin. And uh, Mint is her baby brother. <laughs> I like that. Twinby whacks his head on the moon. <laughs> But yeah, this is known as Bells and Whistles in the U.S. and uh, Daytona Twin B in Japan. And it's basically kind of a remaking of the original Twin B. Some of the stages are fairly similar. Um, and you still shoot the, uh, the bells from behind clouds. Just shoot the, the various clouds that appear and... Uh, you'll often find a bell up here. Shoot the bell multiple times, and you get you can uh, change it into a, a different color, which will give you a power-up if you collect it. If you collect a bee, or a, a bell, when it's just yellow, you'll just get points. And even though this really does remake the first game, uh, Twin B, which was created by Konami in 1985, um, they uh, they really soup up the graphics and the music, and they have little anime styled uh, cutscenes in between uh, in between the levels. You know, after you beat a boss, and I, from what I'd heard. The uh, original pilots of the bees were uh, were not pastel and light, but uh, they are by this po at this point. In this game, you have to help this princess from another planet, uh, from the forces of some bad guy. There was a, a cutesy uh, anime uh, series. A uh, very short series, I think just like three episodes, three or four episodes, and uh, like two movies, two anime movies of uh, the Twin B series with Pastel and Light in it, and uh, Mint. Other characters were uh, Professor Cinnamon and uh, Professor... <coughs> Professor uh, Mardok and his granddaughter uh, Madoka and uh, Professor Waru Moan, the the main antagonist. But uh, in this game, it's very much like uh, the original Twin B. Um, but uh, with, again, with super souped up graphics and, and music. So it's, it's definitely enjoyable. Um, there, you could collect uh, Gwynby, the, the green, uh, the green uh, aircraft that carries Mint, the little boy. Now the, um, the power-ups uh, if you shoot, if you shoot a bell enough and turn it green, 
it'll give you shadow bees, which are like options that increase your firepower that trail around behind you. Uh, a red bell will give you a shield that lasts until you get hit like three or four times, I think. Uh, a silver bell will give you double shot. A blue bell will give you a speed up. A black bell will actually speed you down. It'll take your speed down, and that's a new thing for for the Twin B series. And then uh, a purple bell will give you a tail shield. But uh, if you get hit, you lose you lose everything. Oh crap! I wanted to get that that green one. Um, you get hit. You have two hands. Your your B does, and the hands toss bombs. In this game, shooting both shoots uh, regular fire and drops the bombs, so you don't need a secondary button. And uh, also new to the Twin B series, hold down the fire button and you can charge a very very big shot. If you charge charge it all the way, the shot is very wide, and it's very useful against bosses. Speaking of bosses, we're going to face the first one right here. And it's pretty easy. Uh, it's just, you can shoot it anywhere on its body, actually. You don't have to shoot the eye, I don't think. Well, yeah, you, you, you want to shoot the eye, that's right. There's an ambulance. Which is, which is not new to the series. The ambulance will repair your arms if you lost them from getting hit. And I've already beaten the boss. Here's the little anime type sequence. And Twin B is shooting guns like a, like a cowboy. <laughs> the, uh, the bees could expand in the, in the, anime series and well and in this game they could be small and they could be really big which is uh, <laughs> atomically impossible <laughs> but uh, they, they could be big enough to carry pastel or light or mint obviously the uh, creators of twin B uh, had some sort of uh, fixation with with colors, <laughs> named all sorts of things after color shades, uh, as in the original uh, Twin B, you can get extra points, bonus points for uh, taking out some groups of enemies, and uh, by bombing ground targets, some of the ground targets disappear and then resurface you can uh, get special items you can get fruits uh, you can get uh, stars which will destroy everything on screen all the bad guys on screen and you can also get uh, wind bee to appear the, the green bee And uh, again, this is this is so much like the original Twin B, but the graphics are so souped up, and the sound is so so awesome. The sound is much, the music is much better than the original, and the anime cutscenes. This this is a fun little shooter. I I'd never seen or heard of it in the U.S. Um, I'm guessing it was in the U.S., I, I don't know for sure, but uh, the version that I believe was, at least in Europe, was called uh, Bells and Whistles. And again, the black bell will power down your speed, so you don't really want to grab it. And we're just about to the second boss. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Uh, maybe enjoying March Madness. My uh, Oregon Ducks uh, kicked some serious butt today in the uh, conference championship.
This boss is one of the hardest, actually. Touch that ship and you die. Um, those cannons on the side are annoying. And then these guys require lots of hits. And when they get past you, they'll shoot at you. So watch out for that. They'll just shoot one shot, but it's still kind of annoying. And then uh, once you get past this, then uh, the ship approaches you from behind. And you have to carefully make your way past the oars on the left and right. And you have to watch out for those stupid cannons. Really annoying. But uh, if you die, if you lose all your lives, you get to uh, start your next life if you continue crap, with a power-up. And it'll be like a, uh, a shield. Yeah, and, and a three-way shot, which is nice. The three-way shot can also be picked up by uh, by collecting a bell icon. Yeah, you gotta watch out uh, for those ores. Get in between them very carefully. And just stay to the left or right. These cannons won't shoot you. Now you have to get through the ores again very carefully. Yikes. <laughs> and then you just easily destroy the, the boss from at this point. Jump for the big bees. And there we are. And there's Pastel. But yeah, this game is this this whole game series is cute. There was one that was planned, I think, for the PlayStation, and they canceled it for some reason. As, as far as I know, every single Twin B game has the bells in them. That uh, ringing sound event can get kind of annoying after a while. But if as in the original uh, Twin B game, if you if your uh, B gets his arms shot off, or, or if he bumps into an enemy from the side and loses the use of his arms, uh, the uh, ambulance might show up in the sky, and if you go and touch it, then you'll you'll get your arms back. Uh, here I got uh, uh, Windy, and now I have extra firepower. And uh, when Windy gets touched by an enemy or an enemy uh, shot, then uh, you'll lose Windy. If you die, then Windy goes off by itself, and you can go pick it back up on your next life. And as you can see, he makes your uh, your uh, charged shot wider, which is very, very nice. Ah, crap. I lost Windy. But I got the ambulance. Very, very cute graphics, very pleasant music. And I like the anime cutscenes. I got purple bell and I got my shadows falling, following behind me. Now those uh, those guys take uh, extra shots to to bring down. Now I lost my arms, so I can't. Uh, I can't throw bombs. And now another boss. And this guy's pretty easy. Just just charge and just dodge left and right. And shoot a, shoot a big old charge shot at him. And just dodge left and right, avoid his shots. It's really probably the easiest boss in the game.
There's a total of, I think, seven levels. We'll, we'll see all the bosses and all the cutscenes on them. Once you beat all seven levels, then you start the game over with increased difficulty. And there's all the bees together. If you've never seen the uh, Twin B anime or OVA movies, um, they're they're kind of typical of Japanese anime uh, aimed for kids. There's there's some kind of press jokes. Um, the guy becomes kind of a pervert at times. It's it's still kind of kind of a amusing series. And again, uh, the the creator of the bees was uh, Doctor Cinnamon or Professor Cinnamon, and. Uh, I think his granddaughter is his pastel, and then her cousin is light, and her baby brother is uh, is mint. And since mint's too too young to pilot Gwyn B, it kind of looks out for him, and the bees can talk. They have sort of a synthesized, slightly synthesized voice. Oops. I think, uh, I think I chose not to continue at this point. And again, you get a, you get a power up if you continue. I think you always get a shield at least. And sometimes a shield in three-way shot. Initials, and I uh, will not continue. But I will, I will skip ahead and show you like the bosses of the other levels and uh, uh, the cutscenes and the ending. I don't think the anime uh, series or movies ever showed the. the the princess of whatever planet it was in this. <laughs> Runs into the moon. It's just <laughs> weird. Goofy. It's Bells and Whistles, also known as Daytona Twin B. And here is the next boss that I didn't quite make it to. It's kind of difficult with this lightning shot that you can't really, uh, don't really have much time to see it charge up before you can get out of the way. And there's a very, very, very small uh, twin bee. And yeah, those uh, those bills can get annoying with their uh, their sound whenever you shoot them. And this is a snippet of the, the next level. Very, very, very nice graphics. Flying over these floating. Uh, or whatever. Um, and then there's this uh, centipede type of boss and he can destroy all his body parts. He really just need to go for his head. He, uh, he uh, appears numerous times and then you finally destroy him and then you see this cutscene and you're at a beach or uh, by, the, by the water. Part of the next level, then we'll see the next boss. Well, those mirrors make me think of the mirrors in Xevious, although you can destroy these ones. And there's the boss. That uh, rotating uh, group of spikes is kind of annoying. 
I put on invincibility so I can beat all these bosses quickest. And there's all the bees. And then there's part of the next level. This is the final level, I believe. Green cloud. Weird. the final boss of the game. Kind of gross, it's got a uh, brain making faces. Now we see the ending. That was Bells and Whistles, also known as Daytona Twin B. other games in the uh, Twin B series later on. And again, there was one, I think, for the PlayStation, which was planned, but canceled for reasons I don't know. And then the, uh, the bees fly off and go back to their home planet, which I, I guess is Earth, like in the future or something. They live on this, uh, island with a uh, professor or doc uh, I think it was professor cinnamon and uh, they're friends with dr. Mardock or professor Mardock and uh, his granddaughter Madoka Bells and Whistles, also known as Daytona Twin B, requested by YouTube user Real Master Order. The end. And then you restart the levels, and uh, they get considerably harder, and once you beat them all again, then the game just ends. That was Bells and Whistles. Also known as Daytona Twin B, created by Konami in 1991. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching. Bells and Whistles, also known as Daytona Twin B by Konami in 19, 1991. And I will catch you later in the future with another video. See you, folks. Bye-bye.